Hey Cancers, welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be for my Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placement people. How are you guys? Hope you guys are doing amazing. If you're new, I hope you choose to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any of my readings. I am doing a sale on my decks right now on my Etsy shop. The link is in the description. They are all 25% off, you guys, which is a great deal. I don't do sales like that on my decks very often. So if you've always wanted one of my decks and just didn't want to pay the price for them, <laughs> I am offering a discount right now. So be sure to check me out, you guys. We're going to get into your energy, see who or what is on your mind, whatever spirit wants to talk about all right so take it where, where it resonates this is general it's not going to resonate for every single cancer and what you guys are going through right now leave what doesn't suit your situation please all right all right i felt like using this love situations deck Okay, what can you tell me for Cancer right now? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What can you tell me? Okay. Okay. Should I take reversal? So Cancer, I am kind of getting a little bit of a third party type vibe. Whenever this main lady card comes out, it makes me feel like somebody didn't realize you were the main lady or some shit. So we have main lady. They have chosen no interference and focus on one person. It, it almost feels like but that wasn't always the case though. And then we have twin flame. Okay. You guys are polar opposites. You're very opposites, but it's like opposites attract kind of thing. Yin and yang, intense soul connection. If somebody was dibbling and dabbling and fooling around on you, had you in a third party, right? They have realized now that you are the main person that they should be with, that you are a twin flame, that you have some type of intense connection that they don't have with anybody else. Now, this has been a painful love experience, okay, with the thorny rose coming out. That's why it makes me feel like, okay, like this person really put you through some shit, Cancer. This person really hurt you. This person really made you feel like you were an option. Or they put you in some type of third party. like, And now they're realizing who you are to them. And remember, this message could be rest. This message could be reversed if you were de if you're dealing with a cancer. Take it that way and flip it and reverse it. Okay, a cancer could have had you in a third party, and is realizing now that you are the main person. You are their twin, their true twin flame. You are this person that no matter what, they have this intense soul connection. I'm about to clarify these cards. Um, you know, and they made some type of mistake. They've chosen you now, but it's like, do you want them back? Explain this twin flame card. Clarify this twin flame. Yeah, third party energy. Look, three of cups with the fucking nine of swords. This person's having huge regrets over a third party, thinking that everything was all good, that they had all the time in the world to decide on you or some shit, or just full out just disrespecting your connection, not knowing who they had when they had it. Now they're having all these regrets and shit. They're getting, I feel like, spirit is tormenting this person through their dreams and stuff. Like, you know, this person's dreaming about you. They're getting downloads. They're getting spiritual downloads. Like, you know what? You are dumb as hell out here partying with these third parties, you know, drinking, smoking, whatever. And you got a whole twin flame that was gifted to you. And you couldn't even see that shit. All right. What's this main lady? Yeah, Queen of Wands reverse here. This person was dealing with a Sagittarius Leo Aries that was like low vibrational as hell, okay? Wanted to partake in these drinking, smoking, partying activities, do low vibrational shit with them, 
um, was okay being a side piece, was okay with third party shit, could have known about you because the Queen of Wands reversed is definitely a home, a home wrecker energy. Um, she's bitter, she's jealous, she's vindictive. She's the type to be like, oh, I look better than that bitch. So it's all good. I look better than her. Um, I'm not worried. I'm having fun. Like, you know, I don't care that he's got somebody else. I'm just gonna, you know, continue to drink with him, continue to smoke with him. Um, that kind of vibe. That's what I'm feeling. This is how this person decide. Like, that's why they, you know, were, were dilly and dallying around because this Queen of Wands was allowing this shit to happen. Queen of Wands Reverse has like no respect for herself. No respect for other people either. It's all about her and her benefits and what she wants to do and whatever makes her feel good. Queen of Wands Reverse actually has low self-esteem, but presents as having really high self-esteem when really it's like, no. Because if, if you had high self-esteem, you wouldn't need to take other people's men. Like you wouldn't need to take other people's women or whatever, take away residence. You wouldn't need to like be in the mix like that. So why is, where's this thorny rose? It's obviously brought a lot of pain to you, a lot of betrayal to you, because it's like, you know what? Now you want to choose me. Now you see me for who I am. Mm -hmm. A lot of manipulation going on with this relationship and this connection. Yeah. Somebody didn't, somebody closed off their emotions. Somebody didn't, re was refusing to see what spirit was trying to show them here with the high priestess reverse. I don't know who this is for. Again, this could be for a cross watcher as well. I do feel like it could go both ways, y'all. Look. Immature. Immature energy. Wanting love, but loves the attention. So somebody who hasn't grown up. So when they're partying and when other people show them interest, when a Queen of Wands reverse comes through... And, you know, on the outside, she or he could be pretty attractive, but inside they're so ugly. Like their spirit is ugly. Their intentions are ugly. And this person had to learn, had to find out the hard way about this. Like you had a main lady, you had a twin flame even, and you traded in a twin flame for a hoe, basically. You traded in a twin flame for somebody who was just going to give you temporary gratification, temporary satisfaction. And I feel like they manipulated you so much because you could have felt like, you know, Cancer, you're an intuitive sign. You are ruled by the moon, which is the emotions and secrets and all of that. You definitely felt like something wasn't right with this person. But instead of them telling you the truth, they manipulated you every single time. Okay. They weren't listening to their higher self. They weren't tapped into their intuition. They weren't tapped into anything but their selfish 3D desires, I want to say. And they they know how to like tap out of their emotions. So when they were doing all this shit, they were just living for their flesh. They were living for their desires. They weren't thinking with their heart. They weren't thinking with their mind. It's like something took over this person. Some type of demonic energy or some shit took over this person and made it to where they just like lost their mind. Like they just, they lost their way, lost their minds. Tell me more. Tell me more for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And here we go with this opposites and mirroring. That's both, that, that's both um, indicators of a twin flame, y'all. So you guys had a lot of differences and so that might that probably means that you fought a lot and instead of trying to get to the bottom of these fights and trying to make shit right with you they just stepped out okay you are very opposite you come from two different types of worlds and like so what you want might not necessarily be what they wanted and that's why instead of like making that right correcting that learning from each other wanting to be together working like as a team like a true relationship this person chose to choose the easy way out and go towards karmics and people that you know wear these false masks just like they do okay someone needs healing seeing yourself in them so there's a lot of things you saw your you saw that you do as well, you know, you guys both give each other the silent treatment, you guys both argue and want, when, when, once your way, you know, you guys both kind of go ghost on each other when you're 
um, having these arguments, you know, so there was a lot of mirroring going on between you two. But yeah, now they want a new cycle with you. Now they hope for a new cycle, new beginnings, because they want to be married to you. They see a future with you. They want to take it to the next level. And again, they choose you. This has come out twice now. They have chosen you. And it's like, bitch, you can choose me all you want. But does that mean I choose you? You know what I'm saying? They're, they're ready to want to choose you now. But I feel like you're like, mm, that's nice and all. But how can I really, how can we really start a new cycle with what you did to me? Like, how can we start a new cycle? with the, the the lying and the manipulation and everything that happened. Like this person knows that they're running against time here. They're rushing in before it's too late. They could have taken too long. They could have done the silent treatment with you, with you for too long. They know they're walking on thin ice. I don't think they know what to say, to be honest. They don't know what to say to you, Cancer. We got unlocking and then my rock. So they want to, they realize that you have shut down from them, Cancer. And then it's going to take a lot to like unlock your heart again. Okay. They realize that, you know, whatever they've done has like put this blockage on your heart when it comes to this person. But, you know, it says locked doors are opening, removing blockages and love is coming. It says loved and supported, solid foundation, security and stability. Some of you guys are going to actually run into another connection here that's going to help unlock these blockages. I don't feel like this twin flame, even if they are your twin flame, I feel like it's done. It's done between you and this person. How do you feel about this twin flame? You're ready to move on. The fool coming out. I'm not going to take all those cards, but a lot of you guys are ready to move on. You can have Aquarius in your chart. You're releasing this person. You used to have, or they used to have a really possessive hold over you like they had a hold over you that it's like no matter what they did you like couldn't get you couldn't let go of them or you couldn't walk away from them or whatever but now since this other shit has come out and it's like they didn't know what they had when they had it now like now that this other shit has come out it's just like no you don't have that hold on me anymore and watch me go be loved properly by somebody else <clears throat> Yeah, you're realizing you were codependent with this person. You put up with way too much. You put up with more than you should have. You're realizing all of that. And you were indecisive about walking away and leaving in the past. But now you're not. Okay. They are feeling like, yeah, I've waited too long to come back towards cancer. I've waited way too long and I did cancer wrong. I don't feel like cancer is going to be there for me. This has caused depression in a lot of you. Feeling like low self-esteem, heartbreak. Feeling like there's not really the light at the end of the tunnel. You could be feeling really negative about your love life. How are they feeling about you? They've been watching you. Honestly, I'm hearing smear campaigns. It's probably because I've been watching a lot of narcissistic videos lately, but <laughs> they could be trying to smear your name around. Like, how you were jealous and not never trusted them and you were this and you were that so it's kind of like they're trying to get people on their side like well yeah i ended up cheating which wasn't right but it's because she was always nagging me or she was always this or she wanted to control me or what, whatever the hell kind of excuse they're trying to make okay um they're definitely still watching you though they i feel like cancer you're the one who cut this shit off and so they're thinking about the cutoff, thinking about how you left them, okay? They feel very wounded about this, okay? They're very, like, sad about this, and they feel like they have to nurse their wounds or whatever. It's more so that they got caught, y'all. They're trying to play the victim, which is amazing. You know, you guys could be dealing with the narcissist, to be honest. Um, they feel like, oh man, everything I thought was going to happen between us, it's, it's not happening no more. I, I lost my main chick. I lost my main. I lost my twin flame. We could have did this or could have done that. It's deflecting the blame is what it is. They're deflecting the blame. 
Mm -hmm. They also feel a little vengeful that you cut them off. It's almost like they wish they could have cut you off first or some shit. So there's a little pride with that. There's a little pride with that. You guys have a lot of abundance in your way here. We got the Ace of Wands underneath here and the Ace of Pentacles. You could be linking up with a fire sign or an earth sign. Let's talk about this um, new love that could be heading your way. Tell me about this new love that could be heading Cancer's way. If it's resonating, be sure to like the video, Cancer. Yeah, it could be a fire sign. King of Wands coming out. Ooh, or another Cancer. Oh, no, that, that's the King of Pentacles that fell on the ground. So, King of Pentacles, King of Wands. Wow. Good energy coming towards you. Here we go. Good energy coming towards you, Cancer. With this getting, you know, this person, especially if they're, if they're King of Wands, King of Pentacles, they do have the ability to be able to unlock your heart and make you feel secure and stable and loved and supported. This is a business person. This is somebody who's got their shit together. Okay. But again, be very attracted by what they do and how they carry themselves. They have their own stuff. They don't need anything from you. Okay. This is going to take place after you've done a lot of accepting and healing though. If you, if you are too closed off, you're not going to be able to link up with this person and meet up with them. You know, you have to be outside or you have to open yourself up to this. Yeah. Somebody has been watching you. They think you're beautiful with the Empress underneath here. They think you're beautiful. They think you're creative. They think you're courageous. They just have a lot of good vibes when it comes to you. They also realize that you are somebody that protects your heart, though. Um, you quick to cut them up off. Okay. This could stir up problems with this twin flame, this person from your past. They could be feeling some kind of way <laughs> when they see you moving on, Cancer. So just know that they're going to be feeling some type of way. They, Especially if this person is way, way better than them. You know how narcissists be. Like, you know, they cheat on you all day, all night, but let you finally move on with somebody better than them. And it's like you stabbed them in the heart. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm getting for you, Cancer. I hope it resonated. If it did, be sure to like the video and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.